So this question says the function f is defined by a polynomial. Some values of x and f of x are shown in the table above. So we see that. We see that here, right? We have four rows of information that gives us uh, the relationship between x and f of x. Which of the following must be a factor of f of x? Okay, so I love these. So there is a strategy here. So the strategy that we can use, so before I tell you the strategy, we are not given the polynomial, right? We're given instead a table of values. So when we're asked to find a factor of the polynomial, right, our minds may go to, well, I know how to factor. I know how to pull a GCF out of a binomial or a trinomial or however many nomial I have. I may know how to turn a trinomial into... Um, you know, two binomials or the product of two binomials. There's a lot of things that I know how to do with that word factor, but I would need to know what the polynomial was in the first place in order to factor. Okay. So what we're going to do here is a little trick. So what I like to use anytime I see this type of wording is, well, where is f of x equal to zero? Where does that happen? So for us, it's in this third row here. And what is that telling us? That row was telling us that when x equals 4, f of x equals 0. Okay, well, how does that happen? Because if f of x is a polynomial, but then I'm going to factor that polynomial, I know that the factored form of that polynomial is going to be some set of parentheses. And I'll put three of them here and dot, 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 just meaning I really don't know how many sets of parentheses I'd have. Now, when I use this information plus this information, right? So when I use this, really, I should say, when I use this understanding plus this information, then I say, okay, well, this information tells me that f of x is zero when x is equal to four, which means one of these parentheses must be four minus four, right? Again, x minus four but I'm replacing x with, right? I'm replacing that first x with a four. So you may say, well, how do you know that? How, how does that work? Well, because four minus four is zero, right? So I have zero equals zero. And then it wouldn't matter how many other sets of parentheses I have in my factored form, right? Because the product of all of this is still going to be zero. So let's say, for instance, I had a x minus two and a x minus seven, and a 2x plus 5, right? It wouldn't matter what that was because the zero makes it all true. And it also means that I'd have 2 would be um, a fact, or x, you know, I'd, I'd expect if this were the case. I'd expect to see 2 comma 0 in my table. If this were the case, I'd expect to see 7 comma 0 in my table. If this were the case, I'd expect to see negative 5 halves comma 0 in the table. If that doesn't make sense to you, please do leave a comment um, underneath the video and I'll try to clarify it with an additional video and let you know when I post that. But otherwise, that's the shortcut method to get here. So I've just discovered basically that x minus 4 must be a factor, which tells me that answer choice C is correct. And again, that is all based upon locating. Here's the Here's the shortcut to answering these types of questions. Locating the information that lets you know the x value that leads to a y value that is zero.